Hey everybody, David Fine here. This is part three of our series on building your own center console box for, uh, we have a Carolina skiff and we're building our own center console. In uh, episode one, we built the main body of our console box out of fiberglass, a lot of work. I'm glad, I'm probably only gonna do this guy once, but it's worth it guys, saved a lot of money and was fantastic. Part two, we built a console extension where we are going to house our uh, tackle box and all of our electronics and that sort of stuff. And so that was part two of the video. This part, we're gonna paint the thing. And this isn't just going to get some spray paint and spraying it on. We've got the right stuff and we're gonna do it the right way. Um, special thanks to Freddie Martinez for helping us out because uh, he does this work for a living. So he showed us what to do. We did the work, uh, saved some money. Let's get to the video. All right, folks, so I've got my PPE on. My gloves, face shield, I got my uh, glasses. I'll be recording some of my GoPro. Long sleeves, got my boots, yeah, jeans. Because we're gonna be sanding, guys. This is the last sanding thing that we're gonna do. Guys, we're using number 40 grit sandpaper. And the goal, we gotta get uh, this real rough sandpaper to make it scratched up a little bit so that the when we put, apply the gel coat paint, that it has something to grip onto. So that's the idea here. Gotta get it real scratched up. And I don't have an electric sander, so I'm doing it by hand. This would be a lot easier if I had a, a machine to do this for me, but here we go. All right, guys, next step is we gotta bring some, get some acetone, and we gotta rub this sucker down. I'm done sanding. It's uh, all scratched up and it's ready for um, paint. But before we do, we gotta rub some acetone on this bad boy and make sure that there's all the impurities are out of it and so on. But uh, before I do that, hmm. Let me get some good strong coffee. Pilon, baby. But that's it, guys. We're gonna just rub this thing down with acetone and, uh, and we'll get to painting. So, see you in a few. And guys, it's ready for paint. So, um, you know, just for the record, applying, applying the acetone to the resin uh, before painting, it makes it a little, a little tacky. But um, I would imagine that's okay. It's on the outside, it's starting to, it was tacky and it's less tacky now, so it's probably just matter of trying again but i'm going to go ahead and start mixing paint with all of those guys look at all this stuff i mean this is incredible all the stuff that's required to to do this paint so um here's the formula guys i've got this uh gel coat exterior gel coat paint i got a gallon and I'm hoping that one gallon will make sure to do the inside and out of this box. Hopefully I'll have some leftover. We're going to put in some um, patch booster, which is the styrene stuff. And what this does is this is a reducer. It reduces the paint and gives you more bang for your buck. So your gallon will go a little bit further. We're gonna start by doing a quart at a time. So we'll put a quart of paint in this thing here. And then for every quart, we're putting eight to 10 ounces of patch booster. And then this sanding agent will make, it's another additive that we'll put into the mix um, that, that makes it kind of that nice boat feeling, uh, makes it easy to wax. So we're gonna um, put it, actually it is a wax. So we're gonna put one ounce of this for each quart. And then we're gonna mix that all really, really well. Freddie tells me I gotta really mix this paint uh, really, really, really well before we even do any of this additive stuff. Um, then after that, once all this, the, uh, the patch booster is added, the sanding agent is added, then we're going to add this is about 16 to 18 cc's for every quart of paint. This is the, uh, catalyst. So, uh, this will make it really move and get hot and start to cure and dry. So um, this makes it, this is what 
puts the clock on the timer. So as soon as we put this stuff in, we've got only a certain amount of time uh, to paint before it goes. So guys, I'm gonna get to my little chemistry experiment and uh, we're gonna start painting. Now, there's our gel coat, guys. Nice white gel coat. So the next step is to just make sure it's nice and mixed. Freddie says very important. So we are going to put a quart, which is right there, and one quart, well, that's what we're doing, I don't know why we're, here we go, okay, it says, eight to 10 ounces per quart of paint. So this is eight ounces here. So let's do, let's do eight ounces. Now, my understanding is we just dump this in. And we stir. All right, guys, I just poured the reducer in, about eight and a half ounces for a quart. And I can tell you right now, it's definitely way, way, way thinner. Almost. Next, we will add our sanding aid. We're gonna add an ounce into this mix here and be done. Okay. Let's see, it's not a whole lot. It's a half. Okay, uh, a little bit more. More spilling on my table than it is on the getting in the cup. Let me dump this in. All right, guys, time to mix again. All right, guys, now it's time for our hardener. This is the catalyst, guys. This is what's gonna make it dry and stick and get all nice and gooey. So we are gonna add about 16 to 18 cc's for this quart. All right, guys, we have about 16 cc's of the, of the hardener the catalyst, guys, and now we're just gonna dump it in and start painting and mix it in and start painting, guys. Hardener is in, the catalyst is in the paint, and now is when the clock starts to tick. So we just gotta make sure that this is all mixed really nice and good. Guys, it's time to paint, and I am so excited to actually get some paint on this thing. Guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put three coats on the inside of the box, and we're gonna, we're gonna paint the inside of our dry storage compartment. And we'll do three coats on there. And once we're done with the inside, we'll move to the outside and be done with it. Can't wait. Okay. Guys, I'll tell you what. That is, um, this is some chemistry experiment here. I, I didn't do too well in chemistry in school, uh, but this, this was a chemistry experiment for sure. And if you mess it up, I have a feeling it's not good. So here we go, guys. Let's get this stuff in the, this is our gel coat. Go guys, now the inside of our dry storage. All right, let's do, let's do up here first. It's my beautiful wife. So I would give you a hug, but I have acetone, gel coat, scent, fiberglass, and all that stuff on me, so. It smells very cool. Oh yeah, but this is, uh, this is the good stuff, babe. I'm, we are painting the gel coat on our compartment, 
on our box and eventually this whole thing today will be painted. You look beautiful, by the way. The inside of our dry storage thing is painted. This is gonna be the electrical switch panel, so it doesn't matter a whole lot what's gonna be inside of here uh, if I miss any spots, but this is, this is gonna, what we wanna look nice inside here. All right, time to go and start painting the inside of our big box. Here we go, guys. Mmm, smells. All right, folks, first coat is in on the inside and on the inside here. Um, Fred said, you can go ahead and start applying the second coat while the first one is still a little wet, still a little tacky. So we can see how this works here. It's still, I know it's a little wet. It's going on, man. It's happening, whether it's ready or not. <laughs> all right guys so i've applied my second coat inside the box and guys i am really astounded at how quickly this stuff glopped up i guess that's why they call it gel coat this is my first experience with this stuff and oh my goodness did it harden fast so i mean it's really clumping up and i think that first round is officially spoiled i was trying to get as much on this which is why i started on the outside trying to get as much on as i could so i don't waste all that paint but guys i think i think i'm about done because it's starting to clump, clump up and uh i'm not able to apply it smoothly so i'm just trying to get every square inch of this as i can because i'm a poor man and i, do, I can't afford to keep buying hundred dollars worth of uh paint supplies so i'm hoping this one gallon of stuff and all the stuff i have will last me and get me through the completion of this box and we're gonna find out if that'll happen or not that's done it's like hard as a rock bro well not a rock a clumpy rock all right, guys, so I've got my second round. I'm only going with a half a quart this time because that one, the other one dried way too fast. But I'm also pulling out the big guns if the big guns will rotate. Oh, boy. There it goes. This small roller maybe just took a little too long. So I'm going to bring out this big roller and see if, uh, see if we can get some paintage on here a little bit quicker all right guys yeah that's that's definitely better a lot smoother than the small one this i'll tell you what guys this is actually way more stressful than i thought it would be to be to be really honest look at this this is a big old clump i gotta be careful because i'm filming with my phone it's a big old clump of the other stuff. Well, now that it's in here, it's starting to... Yeah, well, anyway. Um, guys, I'll tell you what. I'm going to film with my GoPro because I don't want to get paint on my phone. And my hands are starting to get really, really nasty. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this recording and just film with my GoPro. That is two coats of gel coat on our console box, guys. Uh, inside's got a full three coats. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited because actually that the inside of our little dry storage has got three coats. So the last thing I'm gonna do, guys, is really just put one final coat on the outside and then we're gonna let it dry and our console box will literally be ready to install. I'm so excited guys. Here, let's let's get this final coat on. It could be a little tricky. Come on. 
home, baby. All right, guys, it's the day after we put our final gel coat on our box. Yes. And Sophia and I are gonna go check out, to see how it turned out. It's actually happening. Now. Yeah, it's gonna happen. We're gonna get closer to put it on the boat. So guys, let's walk around and see. All right, look at her, man. Oh, that box looks good. All right, so I've got some sandpaper here and I'm just gonna see, it, hopefully, don't smudge it. You're ruining our paint. Hopefully I can just go over it. Wow, it's not working. It's not as easy. Dang. How strange is that? So Alright, I never thought I would say this. But this I'm really bummed out these mods came. Oh my gosh, guys, these mods came in here and while my gel coat was drying, probably last night it wasn't fully dry yet. And I don't know if the, the floodlights went on the side of the house, but these little mods flew at my box and got scales all over my box. And believe it or not, they're not coming off very easy. Well, guys. This is the way to get moth pollen, moth scales, off of your newly gel-coated fiberglass. Acetone is the way to go. Just takes it all off nice and easy. So, didn't need to sand it. Just needed a little bit of acetone and wipes it right away. So, thank you, Lord, for making acetone so awesome. All right, guys, I got my box in my boat and we're actually she looks pretty good. Seems to be sized pretty good. Got a nice big walkway over here. Uh, you know, we gotta still install our switch panels and our put our tackle box in, stuff like that. We gotta put our lid on, but it's looking good, guys. I, I would, it's painted, gel coated. Wait, wait a minute. Looks good, my guy. <laughs> what is going on here? The box is big enough to house both of my children. <laughs> Not comfortably. Not comfortably. Actually, actually, pretty comfortably. Actually, pretty comfortably. Pretty comfortable. Actually, pretty comfortable. You guys look like, like, like you guys look like sardines really? in there. Oh, actually, that, that's actually a lot better. You actually, we're actually we actually fit in here pretty good. All right, so that, that's what leaves a lot it's of. Just, it's just putting our heads down. Isn't yeah, it? it's that leaves a lot of room for me. I, I mean, like uh, the rest of the boat oh. for me. You guys can sit here while we're driving. <laughs> yeah, go for I it. I call this one. All right, guys. Hope you liked the video. Uh, now it's we got future videos that we're going to install all of our electronics and our tackle box and that kind of thing. Um, but we're on our way to making our own center console. So give me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, Till next time, let's uh, get out there and get creative. Watch your lip.